Hi everyone, my name is Christina and welcome to my Forex channel. So in today's video, I would like to show you how to identify areas of a support and resistance, how to draw them in the correct way. And we're gonna do a little bit of analysis on my chosen currency pair, which is Euro USD. So before I will start drawing everything on a chart, I would like to explain you what a support and resistance means. It's basically horizontal lines on the chart where it shows how the price acted in a certain way in the past. So let me just go ahead into the video and you will see more in depth. Let's take a look on our monthly time frame for Euro USD because this is how I would like to analyze and draw areas of sensitivity simply because it's just more easier and more convenient for you and I will recommend you do the same thing. So basically go from top to down. So let's say we will start drawing areas of sensitivity on a monthly we will move on weekly, daily, and then on for hourly. I'm gonna start off by drawing a trend line for Euro USD. So when I'm drawing a trend line, I'm basically looking for a zone where they have a multiple touches. So as you can see, I have drawn a trend line in this case, this is a downtrend line. So as you can see, we do have a touch over here, one over here, third over here and the fourth over here. So it just really shows that every time the price touched the trend line, it just bounced back to the direction, in this case, the downside. After we have done drawing a trend line, we will have to move on and draw areas of sensitivity, such as support and resistance. So we're just grabbing a rectangle tool and when you are looking for a good support and resistance, you will have to find the zone with the multiple touches. So it's basically the same principle with the trend line. As many touches as you can find in that zone, the better the zone is. So in this case, I can definitely see a zone over here. So as you can see, we do have our support zone. And as you can see, we do have a touch in here, the second touch over here, the third here and as you can see the fourth touch over here so what it means is basically any time the candlesticks touched our support zone it's shot towards the upside all right so when we have done drawing our support zone of course we do need a resistance so in this case using the same technique you need to find the zone with the multiple touches so basically a horizontal line with the multiple touches in there so i'm just grabbing a rectangle tool and we're just gonna draw a zone okay so we do have our resistance zones so here you go and you can see we have a touch over here a touch over here third fourth fifth the sixth and nearly the seventh touch in um this horizontal line which is our resistance so as you can see anytime it touched it shot towards the upside so it's basically respected the zone in this case touch over here shoot towards the upside came back again retested the zone over here and shot towards the upside and it just kept happening kept happening um, in this zone so basically our first step is done what we're gonna do next as i said to you previously we will move on to our weekly time frame okay so as you can see i do have now a weekly time frame for on euro usd and what we're gonna do right here we're gonna draw areas of sensitivity basically searching for a zone with a multiple touches okay so as you can see we just drawn our area of sensitivity in here sometimes i calling area of sensitivity because sometimes it can be support or it can be a resistance so as you can see this zone here in this case this was a resistance if you will take a look over here now it is support what i do have right here is the mid zone i found the zone because once again it just having multiple touches in in the zone so if you can just take a look it's the one here second here third the fifth in here a bunch of candlesticks in the side so that's the fifth one and the sixth 
and the seventh touch as well sometimes it happens that on a weekly time frame you are able to find only one zone and that's absolutely fine if you cannot identify a support or resistance on the weekly time frame you're able to see the one where is basically the main action going on it's absolutely fine you can keep it like this because in the moment we will go down to um, a smaller time frame such as daily and uh, four hourly and you will be able to uh, find the zone so let's take a look into the daily time frame for euro usd um, currency pair we doing the same thing what we have done in the monthly and weekly time frame we're looking for the zone with the multiple touches so we're just grabbing the rectangle tool if you can spot the horizontal line such as support or resistance straight away it's absolutely fine go ahead and draw it but sometimes especially for the beginners it takes time to draw them it takes time to you know find them and it's absolutely fine you know nobody's kicking your ass or you know punching you saying like you need to do this now 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 you know push 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 you know you will practice a lot and i'm sure you know you will be able to master it all right so as you can see i found a zone with the multiple touches on this daily time frame so one touch two three four five touches over here as well what it shows again it's basically every time they had a push it just shot towards the upside because it respected this daily support as you can see we have our resistance once again multiple touches in the zone as well one two three four five six touches what it means is that every time the candlesticks or the wicks touch this resistance zone it shot towards the upside here you go as you can see when it touch it shot when it touch it shot support and resistance needs to go together they are a couple they need each other very much okay so as you can see we do have our daily support because of multiple touches the same situation going on on our resistance zone multiple touches that's very good what we're gonna do right now we will jump on on four hourly time frame okay so we do have now so sometimes in different time frames you are able to identify or spot a trend line because sometimes For this and as you can see so at the same time when it respected our four hourly trend line it also shot towards the upside and respected our daily resistance zone basically this zone stand for a good resistance it, it didn't let the price break towards the actual zone okay so we have a trend line drawn we are um, able to draw a support and resistance as you can see i found a pretty good and valuable zone on a four hour time frame i was only able to identify one zone and that's absolutely fine um simply because there is no other zones in this scenario so as you can see it's not that very hard to draw support and resistance as you actually need to keep practicing and practicing while you be able to master it don't worry if you cannot spot it right away it's absolutely fine just take your time all you have to do is basically practice 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 until you will master it so don't worry i was there i was not able to find it it seems that the support and resistance was everywhere literally everywhere but after some time you are able to uh, see them straight away okay this is support this is resistance absolutely perfect so i think that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it and it was valuable to you if you didn't understand anything or you have any questions for me leave a comment down below or contact me through my social media so once again thank you for watching and i will talk to you later bye, bye.